Hey, hey guys, guys welcome, welcome back, back to our, our channel, channel Will, Will and Lena, Lena Vlogs. Vlogs. I'm Will. I'm Lena. Um, it's been a while. It's been, actually, I have my phone to pull it up. Let's see. To see how long it has been. Too long. It's been too it's long, been guys. Way too long. Um, I'm going to say five months. Might be six, but I think, I think it's five. been five months. I, I think it feels like years, but let's see. What do we got? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. That's, the, are you that's going? the wrong way. She's trying to find, like, our first video. It has been exactly five months. Five months. So we're filming this. What's today? The... August. August 28th. 28th. You're seeing this Probably August 29th. 29th. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to try, try and get this video um, edited and uploaded tonight and uh, uploaded tomorrow morning. So we'll, uh, we'll see about doing that. It has been five months. Yes, a and lot a has lot changed. Has happened in that five months. Yes. Um, I got a haircut yesterday. You did get a haircut. <laughs> that's that's just one thing. Um, where should we start? Where should we start? So, five months ago, what was our last video? Five months ago. So our just so five can... months ago, I'll link it up in the i card, but it was our weekend vlog. Cool. Not sure what it exactly was like weekend we did vlog, that weekend. and then the before that one. Which was six months box. ago was yeah. our what's in the box challenge. Okay, I remember that one. So, quite a bit. Lot is quite a lot has changed. Mm -hmm. Was that January, March, April, June, July, August, eight? So January, It'll so February. Her. It'll tell me. Yeah, we've been looking at February. Uh, March seventh, twenty twenty two, was our last wow. video. There you go. That's insane. Yeah. That's actually. There was probably snow on the ground. Um, so since that video, I've turned 21. <laughs> yep. I have been back in school, which yes. we'll There's just start update. on that topic. Yeah, um, school. So last time I talked to you guys, yeah, it would have been last time I talked to them. Yeah. I was still an elementary education major, and I am no longer an elementary education major. Um, this decision was not rushed. It probably was since our last video till about a month ago is yeah. honestly how long this decision has been mm -hmm. but i decided to forego uh, my elementary education de career degree and i changed my major to general studies with a minor in ethnic and gender studies um because that's just something that seemed interesting to me and being a person of minority a person of color and honestly learning about equity inclusion diversity ethnicity all that everything that falls under ethnic and gender studies really intrigues me um and so i thought you know what i still have my teaching passion and i can still go back to school for my teaching passion later on down the road if i want to but i'm also still a teacher at my job so i still i get the best of both wor worlds still and the thing that i really like about my new career slash degree is it's all online yeah. which is really really nice so i can focus all my mornings into school and then go to work in the evenings yeah yeah it's really really good for you that you were able to find this yes. I think. And I really enjoy it. Yeah, which is great. I mean, the workload's a lot more than normal, like than I'm used to, but it's doable. Yeah, absolutely. What else? What else has happened? We just want to talk about what we did yesterday, or do we want to talk about? Well, we'll go kind of more in line. So I'm thinking, yeah, chronologically, you know, that was something that had happened that you were thinking about for a while. Um, yeah, March, man, a lot is a lot has happened, it feels like, but also not a lot has happened Honestly. at the same time. Um, I guess with a big thing that has happened with not even with with um your you switching majors, yes. this probably I th I think I feel like would have happened We're, anyways. Is that fair to say? If or? I hadn't switched majors, this would have come at a later date of what we're about to say right but because i switched majors and i'm so close to the finish line um it just made it possible sooner so with that being said i have moved out of my parents house so you will be seeing a lot more of us because it's going to be a lot easier to film we're going to be a lot we're going to be doing a lot more 
day in the life like of me with my school and then going to work and all that mm -hmm. we'll be doing a lot more of that but where do you live now but i live at will that's right so that's why i'm saying it's going to be a lot easier for us to film we don't know if we're going to continue with our monday wednesday friday schedule like right off the bat but we're yeah. going to try and upload as much as possible. I, I would just go ahead and say it more than likely will not be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, you know, the reason why, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Friday really worked for us is um, for me personally, um, which is another thing that has changed, is my work schedule was, you know, I worked every day except for Saturdays and Wednesdays. So mm -hmm. I had a little break. You know, Wednesdays were a great day to, you know, get a video out, something like that. Um, that has since changed. I now um, work Monday through Friday. Um, Which same I like. time. Yeah, it's great. It really, I pleasantly enjoy that uh, this change. This is something that has changed, I would say. Um, something that's changed within the last month, maybe. You haven't been working this new schedule Not that for a long. While. It's been a little, it's been a few weeks. I've had a few weeks where I've had my weekends, mm -hmm. which I have grown to like a lot. It's really, really nice. It is, it is. It helps, um, you know, just with... Uh, it gives us the weekends. It gives us the weekends. You know, a lot of events with, you know, say family or work events are usually on that Saturday or even Sundays, a lot of times Sundays. So, you know, for me to have to either take time off of work or you know just miss out on that definitely was i'd say a, a bummer yeah and i will say like we do i'm not gonna say where we're going um until after we get back right um just for safety reasons but we are have a trip coming up we have a few we have a few trips coming up so yeah. you'll we'll vlog those for sure you'll see where we're going when the videos come out, but we're not going to say them until they come out. Um, just for safety just reasons. Just for safety for reasons and personal reasons. We yeah. want to keep that part of our lives yeah. private until they do happen. But we are going on a few trips. Um, so that really helps with him having the weekends off because it actually is allowing us to go on these trips and not having to take as much time off from work. Yeah, leaving Friday right after I get off work. You know, I still got get off at four o'clock. So that's, you know, great, good enough time for us to make sure we have everything packed up. Mm -hmm. head, head out, out, hit on the road. Take care of the dog and everything. Right, like, and then, you know, sometimes, you know, I might, might take a Monday off as well and just give us a little extra day, you know? Yeah, so, which is really nice. Yeah. Like our next trip that we have coming up, what, it's, we're taking like a five day weekend. Yeah, it's gonna be Friday through Wednesday. It'll be a Friday through Wednesday, yes. Uh, working Friday, like after work Friday and then Coming home, coming Tuesday, home on a Tuesday, and then we'll not have working Wednesday. that Wednesday off so we can just like do laundry and yeah. everything. Take care of the house, take a break, <laughs> get back, get up, get us back in our normal routine. Yeah, so with that being said, you probably won't see a video Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We're yeah. gonna upload as much as we can. Um, I'd say more weekend, more weekend videos. Yes, you know? and we have a lot of stuff that like we will like, we want to do like. Mm -hmm. Will knows this, I've talked to him about this, but I want, not necessarily renovate the apartment, but like, I wanna get some new furniture. Like I, my bedside table right now is like a dinner table. It so is. that's on our bucket list of after our yeah, trips, it's get me a nightstand. Trips, yeah. um, we have some more wall decorations that we wanna hang up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Something that once once our trip's over with, we'll be we, able to look more into mm -hmm. due to, you know, financial reasons for, you know, this trip. And then with trips. that being said, once we get like the house, mm -hmm. how we like it, because it's finally, we can, we get, we finally get to call it our house, like mm -hmm. our place. Like I know like before I'd be like, oh, it's our place. But yeah. he's like, no, it's not like you don't live here. Yeah. And so it's really nice to be able to call it our place, it make it, nice. make it our own. So it's still kind of like a bachelor pad, even though I've been here for- It's not as bad as it has been. No, but like we have furniture from my parents, which we are so appreciative of. Yes. Um, yeah. They've given us so much stuff. Um, but like once we get the whole house, the way we like it and like reno renovated, yeah. um, we will do another house tour. Yeah, for sure. Um, Cause it'll be our house now. Yeah. Um, so you'll see touches of 
his stuff, my stuff, our stuff, which Absolutely. I do want to do. Yeah. Um, but that's going to be like down the road once we get yeah. more financially stable. Well, like not financially stable, but like once we're financially ready. Once we're done with all of our trips. Yeah. And not having to worry about like finances for those trips. Yeah. Um, what else? Should we talk about what we did yesterday? We can talk about what we did yesterday. So, we were out on a walk a few nights ago. Mm -hmm. That's right. And we saw a kitten. And Will and I have always, always have wanted to get another pet. Like, we want to get Quincy a friend. Yes. With that being said, we are not looking at getting one anytime soon. Yes. Because Correct. we're in a small place. Um, we want to we want to give this furry friend that sounds funny we want to give our furry friend that we decide to adopt a, a place to live mm -hmm. so like i don't think it's fair to give them bring them home to this small house so with that yeah. being said it'll be later down the road once we get a bigger place but we are starting the process of looking at different shelters and different places yeah. and ways to adopt we went to two places no three places yesterday the first place we went to they didn't have any kittens we went to petco no pet smart pet we smart pet smart i was like we went, we went to pet places. smart yeah. first and like they have like the section of cats there but there were there. zero cats which is yeah. amazing which is a good thing that if you all think the about cats it. were adopted from there <laughs> but um that was the first place and then we went to a local shelter um somewhat close to us it was a little bit of a drive it was a little bit but um not... i'm not gonna say the name of it just because it's local yeah um but we went to a local pet shelter and they have dogs and cats there um yesterday we decided to look at kittens and mm -hmm. cats we found a really really cute one yes we did um i don't remember his name his name was gucci it was it was gucci and he was a boy his name was Gucci. He was a little boy. He was three months old. Was he three or two? He was two or three months yeah, old. Like, just about very, to turn three months old, very I think. Young. Um, super, super playful. Mm -hmm. But I, I think I remember... Okay, so let me find the name of what it's called. Because he had something with him. So, Gucci, the little cat, had a... Vi it's not... It's not technically, like cancer but it's called feline leukemia virus and they told us that he either has it or could be a carrier of it right but by the looks of it he's probably a carrier of it i mean but we they didn't we know we, they didn't know for certain they yet. don't the shelter that he's at they don't have enough funding to do the test to see if he's just a carrier right. or has it mm -hmm. like has it has it so he could be a carrier he could have it but for us to figure out if he actually has it and not just a carrier would we taken. would have had to adopt him and gotten the test and they said it was a couple hundred dollars easily with that being said though he was the cutest little boy Sweetest we too. they let us take him out of his little kennel that he was in and we played with him for a good 30 45 minutes easily, yeah. and then we put him back in his kennel and then we came back and we played with him again for like another 30 minutes. We were there for close to three hours yesterday. Yeah. Looking at these kittens. Like they have so many kittens. Uh, well, they didn't have, they had a lot of kittens, but a lot of the kittens that were there, um, they can't adopt out because they're so young that they're still doing all the tests on them. Mm -hmm. So like there were, I think, eight kittens in one room that all had ringworm. So they can't adopt those ones out until they're cool. treated for a ringworm. And then they had another kitten who had possible ringworm who were like, okay, this kitten's really, really cute. She was black and gray. Mm -hmm. So, so, so cute. Yeah. Um, but she had possible ringworm, so that's a risk. But with little Gucci, he they told us that if we adopted him, um, he could only live up to be two years old. And if he had, if he had, the had it. Yeah. Um, so we were just we sat there we went into another room and we talked and we're like not only fair is it not fair to bring him home before like get him before a trip and then leave him and then come back and have to regain that bond with him but it's not fair for us right now to bring him home go through that testing realize that he has it and then only have about two years with him 
it's not fair that, and just financially wise i we really couldn't have done it i don't believe mm -mm. so and will knows this i get attached to my pets so so much and so i think that would have been hard on me if Sorry. we brought him home and we realized that he was only gonna live to two and then two years later down the road mm -hmm. he lost his little kitty life and then i would be like I'd be on the verge of tears wanting to get another cat. Yeah. But we did settle on, we do want a kitten. Yes. Because we want to be able to like watch him grow up, watch him or her grow up. Yep. So that we, we went back between what? Dogs and cats. Mm -hmm. We wanted a puppy, but puppies are so much more work because you have to potty train them. You have to train them. You have to take them out so much, but cats, litter box. If you are gone for one day for a trip, Survive they can own. survive on their <laughs> own. I mean, obviously someone will like come check yeah. on the cat, but like we, we love Gucci. Yeah, he was, he was he, very sweet. He was a very sweet boy. There was another one that we really liked too, but he was a lot older. Yeah. He was, um, six years old, mm -hmm. also had the feline leukemia, but he was, he actually had it. He didn't have the virus. Right. He had it. So his adoption fee would have been waived but he was so old and with our dog he would not have he would not have liked it yeah probably not but we were this close yeah to bringing home gucci yesterday and yes we would have kept his name kept his name as gucci maybe we don't know gucci but i also wanted to rename him oreo yeah he was a black little kitten. I wonder if I have a picture of him. I don't if think I he took any pictures. if I have a picture of him, I will have Will put it in the video. But I don't. Right here. I don't. I might be able to find something online. We'll see. Yeah, we might be able to find something online. Um, more update uh, with my work. We um. With my schedule being changed, I also, I want to say, geez, I don't know, a few months back received a promotion, which was really awesome. Um, I was really happy about that. I can't remember exactly, you remember exactly when that might have been? Mm-mm, a -mm, few months ago. A couple months ago, probably just before we had stopped. We had gone mm -hmm. on our long break. So I did uh, receive a promotion, which was awesome. Um, previously, I was a uh, level two technician. I have now promoted to a level three technician. And basically what those that means is um, with the, you know, internet based tech support that we do, uh, we do tech support for people, for companies, you know, across basically the United States and actually one or two in Canada, which is actually kind of cool. Um, but what level three, being a level three technician means for me is um, more ability to work with more companies um, yeah. I think I have all, uh, um, I think I can handle calls from every single company that comes in, which is nice, um, which may not, I don't think was the case previously. And then also with that, there's more opportunity for me to do training with our, uh, newer techs that, uh, that we, uh, hire in our new hires. So, um, whether that's doing test calls, which are, is something I really loved, uh, really like to enjoy really enjoy doing is test calls um you know basically i get to act as if i'm the customer you know i'm calling this you know new tech who's coming in and saying you know oh hey my internet's not working and they walk me through you know the troubleshooting steps that they should do um you know providing empathy mm -hmm. that oh hey i'm so sorry that this is happening let's see what we can do to fix it you know looking for please and thank yous just all around making sure that before they do jump on live calls that they've got it. And uh, I, I'd say a lot of times they do, you know, these test calls really do help um, our, uh, our newer techs, which is great to see. Um, you know, I provide feedback over to our quality control department on, hey, you know, this tech was great at this spot, you know, could look better or could do some more practice over here or something like that. Um, and then another uh, training method I also can do is what's called shadowing. So once the tech has started on their calls, um, like pretty much their first few calls, um, that I go in, I like don't take any call, actual live calls. 
I focus on this, like they tell me, hey, focus on this one tech, listen, I listen to their call, I listen to their entire call, and then, you know, I pretty much write up some notes about, and, and then I tell them, hey, go, let's talk, and I call them up and say, hey, just listen to that one, here's what we did great on, here's what we could work on, that kind of thing, which is, uh, which is great, I like doing that, I like helping out um, these new people where I can, because for, for me, I know I've probably mentioned this in the past, for me, when I started this job, um, it was March of 2020, which was literally right at the start of COVID. Mm -hmm. So with that um, being said, uh, in the first, that first pretty much week was, you know, we were doing training in our conference room, listening to, um, I think actually, yeah, we were listening to people, other people on calls, you know, writing down all of our notes for, learning about what we're going to be doing, what we need, the steps we need to take, pretty much the guide, is, if you will, um, the ins and outs of the company and how it runs. But, you know, after that, basically one week of doing that conference training is when you would do those test calls. You do the test calls for two to three days, I'd say, and then, um, then you jump on live calls, have somebody shadow you. After, for, for my training group, which was, there was six guy, six of us guys in that training group, um, since then, since the two and a half years plus, whatever, that it's been, only me and one other guy uh, are still with the uh, company at this time, which is great. Um, my other uh, uh, co-worker. friend. Yeah, my, my I, I would call him a work friend. He's, a, he's actually a great guy. We've actually had him over. A few times. A few, one or two times. Yeah. To hang out, and then. Obviously, the work events, work he, events goes he goes to, to it. Yeah, so. so it's great seeing him. Um, what was I saying? I was uh, so yeah. It's me and this other guy that we're that I, are currently working um, at the same company. He's a great guy. He uh, uh, got promoted to a supervisor role, actually quality control supervisor role. So it was really great to see, you know, uh, you know, both of us in that same training group being able to advance and get as far as we have um but what i was saying is with how with you know us getting in that time zone of uh us getting there right when covid started uh we didn't get to do any test calls um i don't even think anybody shadowed us either um and if they did they would just write up notes and you know send it to us directly not call us or anything like that so um we kind of gotten thrown in we really gotten thrown into it which i think really actually helped us um I think if, I'll chime in, I think yeah. if you didn't, like if you did have these calls, you wouldn't be where you are today. Because I feel like with you just getting thrown into it, you mm -hmm. had to really put your big boy pants on <laughs> Honestly, and actually retain, it was scary. retain how yeah. to do it. And look at you, you're at a level three now. Yeah, it was, I remember it being very scary of, okay, I'm actually gonna be talking to somebody else that I don't know that is, you know, wherever. Um, it was definitely scary. I, I, I don't know. Who knows? I could have been, you know, I could be in a better spot than I am now if I had those test calls of practice. I don't know. But I, I you know, I'm happy with where I'm at right now. Going back on the track of Baby Gucci. Yes. Found a picture of Baby Gucci. Um, here he is. Super, super cute. He's mainly black, and then right on his chest, mm -hmm. he has a white spot. That's why I wanted to rename him Oreo. <laughs> but a little bit about him is he is a domestic short hair mix. He's about three months old. He's a boy. He's only four mm. pounds, so super, super little. Um, and another reason we wanted him is he is already um, neutered, which is really, really good because we won't have we wouldn't have to have gotten him neutered. And he has all of his claws, which is not an issue for us because they talked to us about decline and what it really means. Like we already knew what it meant, yeah. but um, I think they were able to provide more detail. They were able to provide more information. So pretty much they told us like when a cat gets declawed, think about it as, okay, so here's a cat's hand. They pretty much amputate up to where our first knuckle is. Mm -hmm. And so that's how they grip things. Mm -hmm. So when they're walking or like, Exactly, yeah. Imagine, like when they're walking, you know, just having it's to walk walking with, like on their yeah. heels pretty much. So like when they said that, I was like, oh, like we are never, if whenever we get a cat, we are not yeah. declawing them because it's pretty much amputating their foot. Yeah. Like it used to be a thing people were like, oh, 
we're gonna declaw our cat so they don't scratch. In reality, now it's like, oh, they're pretty much I walking guess, yeah, on their heels. Something that is more looked at yeah. nowadays. Because they've done more and more research now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'll have Will put that picture so you guys can see him a little bit better. But big Gucci. Yeah. He was, super, super cute. He was a cute one. And we know Quincy does well with cats because we've had him around cats before. Yeah. So that's not, we're not just going into this saying, Blonde. Quincy, you're going to have a pet cat with you now. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> we know he does well with cats. Yeah. He does good with other anim animals, I would mm -hmm. say. Um, but yeah, definitely something that we will look into in the future. Yes. I think that is the end of yeah. the video today. I think the next video you guys will probably see is like a day in our life of like his work, my work, yeah. me doing school and everything. Um, and we'll then see. the one after that will probably be our upcoming trip that we have. Yeah, for sure. But, uh, you know, comment down below anything what you guys want to see yeah, what you guys want to any see questions you guys have about questions. our past few months that we've been mia yeah um absolutely i think that's gonna be it though make anyway. sure to like comment and subscribe and comment down below yeah. check out our other video and we'll see you guys in our next video share the video around share it love you guys bye guys bye